Who's excited about marketing? Yay. A couple? Hey, good to see. Who's excited about planning for marketing? A few less. <laughs> Excellent. Well, you're in the right place. Okay. And how many of you have a written marketing plan? Okay. A few less. Let's be generous and call that maybe 10%. And finally, we need to implement and we need to measure results and we need to get some sort of feedback. Too often in marketing, there's knee-jerk reactions where someone says, oh, we've got a problem here, let's just do something. You may have some regular uh, customers, if I say customers, meaning members, guests, other people that come in and use your club facilities. To have you segmented them closely enough so that you can recognise how you need to communicate to each one. Who has a marketing budget that they actually report against? Oh, okay, well, that's a bit better. That might be, say, if you round that off to probably about 15%. What I'd like you to do is to speak to the other people on your table, make a few comments about who are your key audience groups and what are the key opportunities that you have to attract more business from them. We have a good example, the SMS for example, it's got to go out six to eight hours beforehand. I imagine that's the responsibility of the marketing coordinator to make that happen. And that is included in a reporting process somewhere. You have your own communication going out directly to specific people. And then if we look at the word of mouth situation, that's whether we call it referrals or word of mouth or you know, refer a friend. Strictly that's not advertising, it's a way of promoting the club. So promotion is a very general term. So I um, uh, have an assistant and we've now got a database of about 1,500 under 30s. Yep, excellent. And what, what software do you use? It, it costs us about eight cents an SMS. We, we buy them in bulk lots. And we use a lot of print media, um, our print marketing, but we actually find that probably our public relations and the values of our organisation communicated through our involvement in community activity, sporting, infrastructure, environmental of the club actually reinforces that. And how, how do you really get that message really, across? Um, we're probably the central hub of our community. And the glimmer and the glitz in marketing and say, oh, this is great, we're going to run all these activities, we're going to have events, we're going to do all these glossy ads or we're going to run these community sponsorship activities and it's all great. But there's a, there's a lot of nitty gritty management work which needs to be done to make sure marketing plan. It says that you get this sort of nodal structure, it all sounds a bit technical, but the whole idea is that we've got relationships between different factors. And what I'd like to do is show you a few examples here of the way mind maps can work. So as you can see, you've got a central theme, you've got different elements which are coming off that central theme, and in this case they're represented by images. You don't have any way of capturing their details, in other words, you're not asking for their email address, or in fact even if you're capturing their mobile, phone numbers for, for event notifications, maybe that's a missing link. And so that's when we look at actually putting it down on paper. You can look at it a bit more critically and say, are we getting the maximum we can out of these activities? Okay, so I suppose um, the way I started out is for all of us, we have a membership base um, and then move to what I feel is the three methods that we use most, um, being word of mouth. Um, we have a quarterly magazine which we send out when you're out there in your local market trying to maximise the impact of your marketing activities, you can't afford to be too shy. Yeah, Stuart was great, very informative, very straight to the point and uh, very useful information to go back to our clubs and apply a master stuff that he, uh, he put forward. I thought it was very good. Um, I'm a general manager so um, it was good for me to get an understanding of uh, some of the principles in marketing because I have a marketing coordinator. Uh, Stuart's presentation, I went to his first presentation this morning and then the second presentation and uh, thought it was very informative and uh, what I thought was uh, an attribute that it, that it was very practical and it was something that you could apply to your day-to-day your -day work. Thank you.